hit that subscribe button. You're watching Sanctified Supply Co. All right, you guys. So we are headed out for the Homesteading Life Conference with Doug and Stacy up in Vendelia, Missouri. We're really excited to be going. The thing about this that's kind of cool is that Doug and Stacy were a big reason as to why we moved to Missouri. They weren't the reason, but they were actually part of our testimony because I had found Stacy and Doug's interview with Brent. I think it was like an HGTV or something like that series on YouTube where they were just showcasing tiny homes. And um, that was where I got the inspo for the blueprints for our tiny house. And two years later, we ended up moving here. Or what well, was like a year later, we ended up moving here. Yeah, we were just looking into getting a tiny house. And so we came across that video. Mm -hmm. And then we were like, oh man, their lifestyle is so attractive. You know, homesteading and do eating yeah. most of their own food they grow. And then <clears throat> it was one of those breadcrumb, breadcrumb trails that the father was leaving for us that they were in Missouri. And Missouri kept popping up. So anyways, it is a pretty inter instrumental part of our story. Yeah, it really is. And um, hopefully I get the opportunity to share that testimony with Stacy later on um, through this trip because that would be really cool. But is there anything we want to add? Nope. I All hope right. you enjoy the video. <laughs> yep, we're going to jump on in. We'll see you over there. We're getting ready to go. We got a lot to do still. The sun's starting to go down. We're going to leave this evening. You know what I've learned though? Is when things, when things feel really hard, something good's about to happen. So. So some, wow. Some, some things I'm wanting to take are truth tracks. I would love to be able to hand some of those out over there because not everybody believes in messiah so bring some of those on pig because we're not supposed to eat it it's not good for us and this and then these hebrew fest flyers i want to bring okay so it's 1 a.m actually it's 12 45 jerry hasn't gone up yet i gotta wake him up i haven't gone to sleep i probably won't sleep today I don't know, I get nervous when stuff's going on, so. We didn't go, we didn't go and get a hotel last night. We decided just to sleep for a few hours and then get up real freaking early and go. We gotta be there at 7 a.m. for vending and we're, we're try gonna try to be there at 6 a.m. just so we have a little extra time, but super early. Anyways, I'm making Jerry some espresso. I also got some of this from my neighbor. I had some this morning, or I had some last night. It smells so good. We used to go to this place in Rogue River called the Teapot on Wheels, if you know, you know. And they have like specialty tea blends. And the one that I loved, their absolute favorite best-selling tea, smells and tastes just like this. And it's, it's so good. She made a heart for Jerry's love. Guns up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oops. Oh my gosh. We're excited. It's gonna be fun. 
brought like four t-shirt designs, some hats, some water bottles, and some truth tracks, and some Hebrew Quest flyers. We actually came to listen to some of the speakers too, so. Zach Bauer is going to be there. Yeah, we love Zach Bauer. Yeah. I love Doug and Stacy. Jerry is setting up our booth. I'm gonna do better about recording this whole time, unlike last time I did a vlog. Baby is successfully sleeping. It is really hot. It's hot. I had a feeling like I packed for rain, but I had a feeling it was gonna be like this. So we're across from these guys. This is Jake Grant and his wife Sierra, ordering all the fizzies all day long in this heat. Asher's trying to control the camera. There's a bunch of different vendors, lots of vendors. We're over here. We printed those shirts. Do, do, do. Not those ones. I don't think it's anything other than just. Day one is at a closeout and it is exhausting. All right, so today's day two and we're actually gonna get to listen to the speakers talk today, um, hang out and mingle. <laughs> we're all pretty tired, so we slept in. Um, we'll be checking out soon and then head it over. Doo -doo -doo. What town is this? Is this Hannibal? This is where we stayed last night at the hotel. We stayed at a Best Western here. Cute little town. Very cute little town. You want to add anything as we're on our way to the event? Yeah, this is a lot of fun. Um, I haven't got a chance to really talk to Doug and Stacy yet, but we're going to listen to all the speakers today. <clears throat> so I'll get to soak up some of the pearls that they're dropping out here. Um, That's a weird analogy. Is that an analogy? They're dropping some jewels, man. Picking up what they're throwing down. I think Anyways. I'm rubbing off on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just saying things that don't quite that don't quite make sense. Okay. Well, anyways, yeah, we're looking forward to not having our booth set up. Uh, yesterday, we were blessed and we're super thankful. Today, we're going to go and hang out and fellowship enjoy Shabbat, enjoy some teachings. We're running about four hours behind because it's Sabbath. We slept in and yeah. Yeah, that's all good. It's a Sabbath thing. I, I kind of wanted to hear the earlier speakers, but that's okay. We're going to catch like the second half of the speakers, so that's okay though. We've been going strong for a couple of days, you know. Yeah, my we, arm's tired. We left tired. at what, 2.30 in the morning, yesterday morning. And just drove and spent all day. So yeah, we kind of needed to recharge. Yeah. And the day of rest seemed like a, seemed, seemed like a good Sempt. time to do that. We also have very fussy children because of the lack of sleep and all the... I think they're both asleep right now. Okay, bye. See you over there. We've got these different tents going. Tent one, tent two. I think there's four of them. Lots of mud. Lots of mud. It's not that bad though. Our mud's worse. This is northern Missouri mud. We like it. There was somebody in my trailer today that was talking about blading the body while they're while they're while they're shooting. Okay. Do you want to stand a lot isosceles so that they have a smaller target? Do you want to stand square? We talk about a lot of things in that trailer. Alright, we're headed out, you guys. It was fun. We'll be back in a couple months, y'all willing. Oh, I just saw a squirrel cross the road. Literal squirrel. A literal squirrel just crossed the road. Can I be in your outro? I know, I missed it. I was filming my face. Let's walk and talk. Okay. I just want to be in it, I said. <laughs> All right, we're headed home. We'll be back. I think in August. So, y'all willing. 
Yeah, and there were some really good speakers. We only really caught one of them fully all the way through. The guy was super funny, so that was great. Um, what else? We're tired. We're gonna go home. Until next time. Okay. What's your channel name? My name, it, our channel's name is Sanctified Supply Co. Sanctified Supply Co. Yeah. Hit that subscribe button. You're watching Sanctified Supply Co. <laughs> Thank you.